Tonight, survivors of gun violence speaking out, asking questions, and hoping to get some answers. Thanks for joining us here at 11 o'clock. I'm Mike Dardis. And good evening to you. I'm Cherie Pillow. They don't know each other, but they all share something in common, personal tragedy. WLWT News Fund's Rachel Hersheimer talked with the families who are still looking for closure. Hi, Rachel. Yeah, Mike and Cherie, all of the families who were at tonight's conference lost a loved one to gun violence, and they were all trying to figure out who pulled the trigger in each case so they all get their day in court. It's a club they didn't choose to be in. No one should have to bury their child when it's not necessary. Jordan was so fun, loving, um, just an all-around cool dude. These mothers lost their sons to gun violence. Dominic Gilbert was killed May 16th, 2016. I know that date so well. I ran a half marathon the date before. Jordan Brown was murdered on June 2nd, 2021 in Avondale. It's still difficult. I mean, I think about my son every day, every day. He has a daughter that actually, you know, won't even get to know him. So it's really frustrating. Both cases are unsolved, and it's a common theme for people in this room. It'll be 17 years, September 29th, and I'm not tired yet. Hope Dudley is the founder of You Can Speak For Me, a nonprofit helping families through the violent loss of a child. Her son was murdered in 2007. This case is still unsolved, but I am hopeful. Uh, that I will have justice in this case. Tonight's panel is held during National Crime Victims Rights Week, giving survivors a chance to hear from law enforcement, the coroner, and the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Ohio. Know that law enforcement, law enforcement, state, local, and federal agencies continue to work diligently on cases. And while it's a tough road for anyone impacted by gun violence, this group is not giving up. There's not a day that don't go by that I don't miss him. We, as a family, we have to stick together. You have to speak out. You have to talk. And Dudley says in Cincinnati alone, there are more than 400 unsolved cases in Cincinnati, including one involving Dominic Davis, an 11 year old who was shot and killed in the West End. Dudley's advice to families going through something like this is to keep the faith and continue to speak up. Reporting live tonight from District 1 headquarters, Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5. All right, Rachel, thanks so much.